yes. When you guys look at this one, they say that we have a line that is tangent. And I mean, I'll give you some points here. Let's say that's A, B, and C, that would be D. They say that the line AB is tangent. Since we know it's tangent, we know that it creates a perpendicular line, correct? So therefore, now we can say, all right, I can apply the Pythagorean theorem because I need to find the value of x. So remember, it's leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So I have x squared plus 12 squared equals x plus 8 squared. So I'm kind of going back a little bit of algebra 1, back to you, right? That's x and that's 8. So it's the whole, that whole length is x plus 8, correct? But you've got to square it. Now going back to algebra 1, I can't combine these two, so I leave them like this. So I'd have x squared plus 144. This is what we call a perfect square trinomial. So when I FOIL this out, remember FOIL? You guys did those? When you FOIL that out, you get x squared plus 16 plus 64. Now, I need to solve for x. Now, what's nice about this one is I don't have to do any factoring. But if you had something with x squared, you'd have to go how to factor or use the quadratic formula. But fortunately, as I solve for x here, oh, I'm sorry, that's 16x. As I solve for x here, I subtract x squared on both sides. I get 144 equals 16x plus 64. Now, all I got to do is solve for x. So I subtract 64 on both sides. 86, 76. 92. 42, 4, 8. 144 minus 64 is 80. Divide by 16. Or divide by 16. And I get x equals 5. OK? Hello.